Hello everyone! Today we're going to learn how to make our very own Easter card for free on Canva, so follow along with me as I make my own. On our homepage, we're going to go to the search bar and type in folded card. And from the drop down, we can have two options, either the landscape or the portrait one. This time we're going to use the, um, the landscape one. We'll be routed to the templates page, but this time we are going to create our very own card from scratch. So yeah, we're going to click on the create a blank card button right here. This will take us to the main editing page. All right, here we are. And as you can see, there's a crease over here. This will be our landscape folded card. We can look for templates on the side panel. Um, Easter, for example. There are only two templates available for Easter, but yeah, no worries. We're going to be making our own. So let's get right on to it. Let's change the color of our background to whatever color we like. This color seems nice, so let's add elements to it now. On the Elements button, and then on the Search button, let's type in specific elements we want to add. Um, Basket, for example. And let's scroll down and find something we like. This one's nice. Let's add it here. I think it would look good if we add a ribbon to it, so let's do that. Let's click on Graphics. And let's find something we like. This one, for example, I think this would look good. Let's properly position it. And there. I think it looks nice. Let's keep on adding more elements. Looking for the perfect element could take time and even trial and error, but that's okay. We're going to keep looking for something we like. I've used this one before, but I think this is the best one. I can't find any other alternative, so let's use this one again. And let's add some shadows. Let's position it properly. And send it backwards. And maybe... Aw, oh, I think there are edges here. The edge is cut, so I'm afraid we're going to have to use a different shadow instead. Uh, this one would be perfect. Let's adjust it and move it backwards. Yeah, I think that, that looks great. Let's add some more elements. Let's make our design more festive by adding something like a banner, for example. We 
we can copy an element by pressing Ctrl plus C. There. I wanted to add some flowers, but I don't think any any of them suit our design well, so we're going to replace it with some confetti to make it even more festive. And once again, it's a matter of trial and error. Let's change the color. Let's change their colors and position them backwards. There's something missing and I've got something in mind. Ah, oh, bunny, right. Let's find the perfect bunny. Oh, this one looks cute. I think this would go well with our basket. Let's put him here. I've got something in mind for the background. Let's change the background color. You might wonder what this is for, but I'd like to add it kind of like an um, irregular shaped arc behind, just to make the design more interesting. And there, I think I'm quite happy with how it turned out. But let's not forget the bag part. Let's go ahead and add a few designs for the back part.
and there you have it. This is the end result of our design. If we want to have our design printed by Canva, we can actually do that. They offer good quality prints and have them delivered to your home. We can do that by clicking on the share button and print your design button and then select card depending on the orientation you prefer. You'll have options to resize it automatically and then you'll also have the option to enter your billing address and other details so that Canva could deliver the card to your house. If you'd like to print it by yourself, you can also do that by downloading your design. And you can do that by clicking on the share button above and then download, select the file type and other necessary settings for printing. And then finally, click on download. And that should be it. Thanks so much for watching.